Hi friends, host Derek here, host of Talking with Famous People, and I want to talk in this video again about the eighth slot function and the role of physical and metaphysical dimensions and the two understandings of expressions of, of attention. And all of this was prompted by light bulbs observation that in some sense you've mastered your eighth slot function and my initial reaction to it was like no that's silly what but with within a few moments i was like hold on a second i think you're on to something here and i continue to think she was on something rather revolutionary in my net comprehension of things so the thing is, it depends on the frame by which you're understanding an individual's expression of cognitive functions. So when we think about it, we tend to think of people expressing those cognitive functions in situations in which it's the situations that reward expression of that cognitive function or manner of attention. Um, maybe and some other because these things don't ever really manifest independently you introvertedly think via your extroverted intuition or via your extroverted sensing um you don't introvertedly think in pairing with anything else so it's it's necessarily the case that you're even activities that reward, say, introverted thinking, they reward them either along a physical or metaphysical vector. So, god damn you, fucker. Yeah, fuck off, terrible driver. Driving for Lyft. Should be driving for shit. Shit car company. Shit driving places you place. Driving people places company. The shittiest of all such companies. Alright, so. Um, the thing is, if you look at it from that sort of perspective of, of life events being opportunities to excel, then you're looking for ways in which you can be an outlier. And it's true that if you have a terribly imbalanced configuration, if you've got shit tons of extroverted intuition, for example, and a lot less of everything else going on as on any given moment, any given day, you're probably intuiting extrovertedly, as I am, then that'll give you a chance to excel in activities that reward that. However, that's a different kind of achievement than excelling as a human being. So from an SI perspective, you might say that it's more important to be balanced. And that the only function in which, which you can really say you use well is your 8th law function. This, is, this fits in perfectly with the whole value matrix thing that I have where it says the first function is an implicit value or an existential value uh, that you necessarily it's the default frame you bring into everything the uh, second function is instrumental value third function is absolute for yourself conscious or willed um, fourth function is seeking fifth function is uh, legitimizing others in the world, so how you judge other people. You can also say it's who you give too much credit to. Uh, and then your sixth function is who you give too little credit to. And things, you know, the thing you counter by. Seventh function is that which you truly don't understand. And you're confused about it, and it's baffling to you. And then the eighth function is the only one that you have a healthy relationship with. You use it when you should, you don't use it inappropriately, 
you you use it to serve your interests in life. Socionics says it's a role function, which ties in with that whole thing as well. Like it's what it's what you don't use too much of, and what you don't use for bad purposes. But you're also kind of judgy about it because unlike you and your your dominant function mate, uh, everybody else is using it wrong in some capacity. Now, your dominant function is the one you probably use most wrong of all, which is to say, you're way overindulging in that. That's not a drug you have good control over at all. It, it, I, like, for me, I'm constantly having to grab the reins of my extroverted intuition and try to keep it in check because it'll run me off on the tangents and all over the place. So, no matter what your introvert, your, your dominant function is, extroverted or introverted, it's going to be something that you you add to every single dish you make, whether you plan to or not, whether you want to or not. And it's sometimes there's some dishes that just really don't go well with chocolate syrup, so maybe you shouldn't put it on that dish. But um, it's almost impossible for you not to. So, the interesting thing then is the one person who can see how and when you're using your dominant function too much and to bad effect is the person who has your dominant function as their eighth slot. So, ESTPs and ESFPs can see when I'm making too much meaning at the expense of other things that are important fixating too much on the words, yada, yada, yada. And the way I can typically get past that, I guess, is by turning to extroverted sensing to shake things up a bit. Um, ultimately, it boils down to a perspective of the individual self from the self's perspective is, from an SI perspective, is going to prioritize more balance. For an NI perspective, it's going to prioritize more outlieriness. So, Kim doesn't care about being an outlier in things. She doesn't need to be special in that capacity or, or want to be like, in, you know, a genius or the best whatever. She doesn't really care about that. She wants to be comfortable. She wants to life to be, I guess, predictable. Uh, she wants an environment that allows her to NE safely. And um, and she's not really interested in attaining that kind of objective achievement from third party perspectives. The NI kind of self is involved in that and they are interested and so they're going to probably be more likely to prioritize uh, or, or view it from the perspective that I typically have as well which is that you're down in a function but you're good at it. Well, you're only good at it for the purpose of those kinds of things that reward you for it. Uh, in other words, objectively, from a third party perspective, you might be good at it. From your own perspective, if you were to balance, um, if you were to balance things better somehow, it would serve your interests more and render each bit of the dominant function that you do utilize more impactful, more meaningful, whatever. But here I am making this video, extrovertedly intuiting my way to work, and uh, the only thing that makes it 